Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this final clip in a series, we conclude with a few last failure modes for the Bode Roller. Sometimes, it can be difficult to know when to stop. We could go on for hours on Bode Rollers. Yet, I must end with a final set of common troubles. Teaching operators how Bode Rollers work and how to operate them is not easy for good reasons as we learned in Web 101. The Bode Roller is one of the most complicated spreaders we have. Still, this complication may be worth it because it is also one of the most capable of spreaders. In fact, many engineers and even the Bode Roller suppliers themselves do not always know how Bode Rollers work for the simple reason is that many do not read or go to school in all of the details they should know. As I mentioned in previous clips, and as we detailed in Web 101, the Bode Roller is not a trivial drive design and tuning application. Then we have maintenance challenges, including cover wear and bearing failure, both of which can degrade spreading even when the cover is not obviously worn or the bearings still turn in some fashion. Finally, when you get to speeds above a few hundred meters per minute, or certainly the thousands or even 10,000 feet per minute the paper winder operates at, vibration can be devastating. The Bode Roller is a particular challenge here because, unlike most rollers, they cannot be balanced. Also, at least three resonances are inevitable in the speed range of paper machine winders. Few builders can make a bode roller good enough for high-speed winders, and none can do it without fail. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my Plant Practical Video Clip series. Stay tuned for more must-know topics in web handling.